This week on launch, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to type. The most anticipated API launch in maybe ever? And payment giant Stripe takes on invoicing. Should you care? All that and more on this week's Launch for Accountants. If there's one thing we're all looking for in life, it's approval. Well, cheer up old man swinging because JotForm has just launched approval workflows. I am an approval enthusiast. I've railed on this before. Previously on launch. Virtually every business has about 10 times more approval processes than they realize. Basic stuff like time off or accounts payable to things we trip over every day, like software access requests or changing the flavor of the bathroom spray. But first, what's a job form? And what are they doing rolling out approvals? Well, job form was initially a form builder and a super powerful one at that. It remains among the only form builders to offer HIPAA compliance. And to sweeten the deal even further, last year they launched tables kind of like a database for you, think Airtable. But now we've got dedicated approval workflows. It's basically a visual branching logic interface that lets you build your own workflows from scratch. And then you get to determine what happens with each potential outcome. So whether it's a simple single step approval or a large multi-step, JotForm gives you a way to design your own flow, reach out to approvers and notify requesters automatically. Now, two things I think that make this super powerful. First, it's built on top of a form tool that's already very good. So the request starts as a simple form submission. You could collect documents, any number of data points in that form before it goes off to someone else for approval. Second, JotForm connects to all the other web apps you use. So when a request is approved or denied, JotForm will send notifications to the people involved, but then you can automate follow on steps with Zapier across any of your other apps. Pretty cool. JotForm's got a webinar recording up on the approvals page that does a deep dive into this. If you wanna learn more, check that one out over at JotForm.com. How fast can you type? Wow, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. You're still slower than TextBlaze, a Chrome extension that lets you use canned messages anywhere in the browser. Okay, do the overlay thing now and then I'll just show how it works. It's easier if you just, it's easier if you just see it. Okay, so most of us have used canned messages in email before, right? Boilerplate response, you set them up in your email client for responses to things like, I don't know, is my tax return ready yet? And rather than having to painstakingly write out the same message every single time, you just pull in that block of text. The TextBlaze Chrome extension takes this to the next level. Basically, you can use slash commands anywhere in your browser. So inside of TextBlaze, you set up all of your slash commands, like a first interview invite, or a 1040 delivery, or a simple acknowledgement. Once you've got those set up, you can then use those slash commands anywhere inside your browser. A couple more TextBlaze tricks here to dazzle your friends. You can create snippets with placeholders. Little boxes where you add something to the snippet, like the client's name, the signer on a tax return, or even a link. You can also build formulas between the placeholders. Put a number here, a number there, do a little math at the end. Lastly, you can even share your slash commands with the rest of your team. Keep everybody on the same page. I love this. I appreciate canned messages as a way to keep your team's messaging consistent. And this feels like a genuine improvement upon canned messages. So that's TextBlaze. Learn more about this one over at blaze.today. Payment giant Stripe is making waves in our space again. They recently acquired TaxJar and now just launched full-blown invoicing. We're gonna talk about what the use case is here and whether it's something that impacts the way that you and your clients invoice. So fundamentally, Stripe has always been a tool for developers, a simple way to handle payments on your website. Now, Stripe does way more than payments these days. And while they're still first a solution for developers, their offerings are starting to come down market to non-developers, leaning into the no-code trend that we're seeing. Now, what Stripe's gonna lack in in approachability, they're gonna make up for in a world-class user experience. There is nothing that matches the Stripe checkout experience. When they decide to do something, they do it extremely well. So if you need really slick, high volume invoicing that just works, this is gonna be a really solid solution and it's gonna integrate actually back to your accounting system automatically. Now, if Stripe's API approach is more than you want to wrestle yourself, keep in mind API integrators like Zapier and Integramat have pretty robust support for Stripe. Now, this one's gonna be Pretty use case dependent, maybe overkill for a lot of scenarios, but it's probably your best bet for automated invoicing. Learn more about Stripe's invoicing over at stripe.com. Your life needs an operating system, a system that tracks and prioritizes what you do across 
everything you do, from picking up diapers to calling clients. Most knowledge workers these days are juggling over 10 channels of to-dos, and prioritizing one of these channels, like email for example, is really hard. But prioritizing to-dos across all of those different channels, impossible. My life operating system, the thing that brings all of those channels together for me, runs in Notion. It's kind of the ultimate space to organize your life, but it has never had an API making any sort of automated actions impossible. Yes, the thing that's been running my life can be automated. That is, it couldn't until this week. Zapier this week called it the most anticipated integration they've ever had. Just think about that. So what is there to get excited about? Well, Notion is kind of a freeform builder of whatever you want. Pages, to-do lists, databases, websites even. The most hardcore Notioners think Notion replaces much of the software we use. You're really building your own software on the fly. So what will Notion's new API let you do? As it would turn out, just about anything from updating your databases to creating pages, building out blocks in those pages, Pages, you can now do all that in an automated way via their API. Now, if you're leaning on Zapier or IntegraMap for your integrations, right now Zapier just supports the database function of Notion, but look for this to improve over time to incorporate the rest of what Notion's API does. So exciting news there. If you haven't checked out Notion yet, I'd encourage you to do so over at notion.so. New $19 million funding round for Relay Financial. If you aren't using Relay yet, it's a small business banking platform that was built from the ground up with the small business advisor in mind. They're using banking as a way to simplify the collaboration between small business owners and you, the bookkeeper or accountant. 2020 was a brutal year for small business banks. We saw a number of them shut down, so this is good news for the next wave of small business banks that are bringing more to the table than an old-timey web interface. Now, Relay specifically is going to get you deep integrations with your accounting platform of choice, API-based bank feeds, which means they don't break, and even built-in bill pay. They've got a dedicated channel for accountants and bookkeepers and a kind of tier program for discounted access to stuff like bill pay. They run a webinar at the end of May, kind of walking through the roadmap for what's next how they're gonna keep building out the platform to support small business advisors. So congrats to the team at Relay. If you wanna learn more about that one, head over to the Relay blog. Really simple tool here to roll your own CSV imports for volume data collection. It's called CSV Box. And it's gonna give you a simple way to pull in CSV data in a format of your own design, put an upload link on your website, or even just use it internally. So think of the scenarios where you're pulling in data in large volumes, like a trial balance or a chart of accounts, even a client list. CSV Box will let you design how the data needs to be formatted in that file. Then when the user uploads a CSV or an Excel file, it'll identify any issues in the formatting and have them correct it before the data is pulled in. Now we do a lot of this high volume data wrangling already, whether it's a month-end close or a manual process that you haven't found a way to automate yet, but we rarely use CSV import workflows internally or with our clients. We do them all the time in the tools that we use, but rarely build them into our own workflows. So it could be some opportunity there. Check this one out at csvbox.io. That's it for this week. Head over to launchfa.com to see even more launches every single week be sure to sign up for our weekly email newsletter. So if 100 people send you invites, you can get 100 emails and 100 messages. At least to start, it is a pretty good tool for building your very first audience. Your cold, heartless site, a little more human, with your big, beautiful face, of course.